Welcome everyone, Atlas here, and today I'm going to give 5 tips for all the RAF players who want to take their gameplay to the next level. Maybe you don't play RAF, but see something in this video that will interest you. Or maybe see something that will help against RAF. Some of these are more basic than others, but all of the tips I'll present today are important and will aid you in defeating your opponents. If you like the video and want more, I'll do a second tips video. If you enjoy the video, please share it, like, and subscribe. Any feedback is welcome in the comments below. Now let's get into it. The first one may seem obvious, but it's important. Don't only use verticals. The truth is that Raph is a fencing style character with many different and powerful vertical moves. Because of this, a common strategy against him is to constantly sidestep. Punish people for this by using moves like 2-2 or 8-8-K, 4-K, 6-A-A, 3-A, which has a lethal hit condition, or even the standard 2-K and 2-A. By forcing people to stand still and not sidestep, your verticals will become even scarier than they already are. The second tip is to use 2-K and a lot. RAF has one of the longest 2Ks in the game. Make sure to take advantage of it. It can serve as a great low poke or deterrent to sidestep. It can also be used to condition your opponent for some of your more powerful mids. The third tip is whiff punishing. Now whiff punishing is a concept that's very important for all characters in neutral, but this is an area in particular where RAF excels. Moves like 236B, 66B, and 66B plus K are all far-reaching fast mids that are excellent at whiff punishing. Raph also has access to the furthest reaching super in the game at 16 frames, which leads into a setup. Be sure to use these moves in neutral to keep your opponent in check. In the previous tip, I mentioned that Raph has a post super setup. Because of his far reach, Raph super leaves him in range for a guaranteed mix up. This becomes extremely potent when the game is on the line and your opponent is left with no health as it is a pure guess. You can go for 3B or 4B after, which are both mids, or 1B, which is a low. The fifth and final tip is to master instant prep. Raph's most powerful tool is his prep stance. When cancelling this move in conjunction with another stance, Achier Gambit, it is possible to utilize a technique called instant prep. Instant prep will allow you to reach some of your most powerful moves and mix-ups quickly. and allows for some links that aren't possible without it. While difficult, if you desire to play this character at a high level, instant prep is something you must learn how to do. Alright guys, that's all I have for this tips video. If you enjoyed it or found something helpful, feel free to like the video. If you want me to go further in depth on one of the things I mentioned, leave a comment down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and uh, have a nice day. Till next time, peace.